right. This is stupid hard. A Tilly on a beat. Boy. What's up everyone, this is Etelanti, how are you guys doing? Today I wanted to kind of take you back to my roots. For those of you guys who don't know, before making beats I used to play drums full time and my first musical love since I was like 14 was rock and metal. When I first moved to LA I started a band called Perceptionist with a few of my friends. Uh, we released an album, we released a music video and we actually had some buzz in the progressive metal scene. It's a little bit embarrassing but let me show you a couple seconds of it. So yeah, today I kind of wanted to go back to my roots. I got the Schecter 7 string right here and we're gonna try to make a trap metal beat. Before we do this though, I have to make some beat visualizers. I have a second channel where I just post beats so I don't post them on my main channel and I've kind of been neglecting it and it's time to fix that. Let's do it. The key, just like with everything else that you want to do like consistently, is to find a style that you like and then build a template around it that kind of serves the purpose of helping you make it fast. And then you just change like the picture, you change the colors, you change a few elements, but the base, it's already built. All right, that's enough. I already made like five or six. It's time to make some trap metal. Let's change the color of these lights. This blue does not really scream metal to me. Let's do maybe like a red. That's way more metal. So as you guys know by now, I generally start my beats with the melody, but today because I have to play like heavy guitar riffs, I need to have some drums underneath just to have a groove. So we're gonna put down an idea, something simple, maybe we'll change it later, maybe we won't, I don't know. But just something to have like a groove. All the drums in 808 that I'm gonna use are from my own sample pack. If you guys are interested, it's linked in the description. Let's see, what's a good tempo? Right about there. Let's do 97. All right, that's good enough for now. Let's do some guitars. Whoo, I think we got our first riff. I want this beat to just be like super nasty. is crazy let's try to add like a counter melody i'm gonna try to make it like pretty dissonant but like super just like heavy this is totally gonna be a beat for like zilla kami or something like something really heavy and really just like raw <laughs> This is stupid hard. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna record the same thing I just did, but an octave higher, and then I think that's enough guitars. Whew, this is gonna be crazy. Let's go ahead and some of these guitars. All right, I cleaned up the guitars a little bit. I cut out like all the little noises in between the notes. So now they're like nice and sharp. I re-recorded a little separately just to have it cleaner. And the goal now is to make some space for the 808. That guitar takes up all of the bass frequencies. So I'm gonna have to clear it up and kind of make space for the bass. All right, since we're doing this, let's do a little bit of gain staging too because everything is clipping like crazy. All 
All right, that's good enough. Mixing this beat is gonna be a bit. That's all right though, because it's coming out really lit. It's time to put an 808 on it. That was it! This beat is crazy! All right, I'm gonna go ahead and mix it and arrange it a little bit and I'll tell you guys the final thing in three, two, one. And that was the beat. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to the subscribe button and the notification bell. I really, really appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. Thank you so much. Also, if you have a question, you wanna say hi, whatever it is, Instagram is the best place to do it. Just shoot me a DM and as soon as I can, I will respond to you. All right, I guess this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. I'll see you next time. And as always, be positive and positive things will happen.